to the Polo Podcast. It's great to have you guys here. You're here with my man, Zach. And this is Theo. And we're enthusiasts, just like you as well. If you're here, you're here for the same reason, right? We all love it. Ralph Lauren, the low. Can't get enough of it. So we made a podcast. This is episode one. And we're going we're gonna to cover things like hot topics. We're going to cover, you know, who's wearing polo, how they're styling it. Mm. Copying or dropping. Right. Comparing some pieces. Yeah. Retro versus OG, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Shouts out everyone in the community. It's great. That's why we do it. Come on. We're all here for the community. So, big ups. Let's do this. Starting off with the cycle racer jacket. First impressions, what are we saying? It's a banger. It's clean, isn't it? It's a bang. It, it's yeah. clean. I mean, we're talking a statement piece. It's a bold, bold mm. piece. Crazy, crazy graphics on the back. I'm always a fan of graphics on the back as opposed to the front. I think that's cool. Totally. And I think what Ralph Lauren does with uh, primary colours always smashes it. It's true. Let's look at the 92 Ski Collection. My absolute all-time favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking massive graphics yeah. all over front and back. Yeah, and we've got the, the red, the yellow, the blue. And the green, which they've also included here on the handlebars. That's in the 92 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. You can sort of, you know that Ralph Lauren has those themes. Really good. And um, here they've smashed it as well. And so I've been talking to a few people about this jacket. I mean, apparently with this retro, they've absolutely killed it with the quality. Yeah. Apparently the quality is absolutely top notch. Um, it deserves it. It definitely does. It's true. I think they've done it justice. I think Such they've done the retro justice. Piece. No, exactly. And and apparently it's got a really nice lining in it, which makes it thicker, oh, no way. which is perfect because it's just dropped in the autumn. Mm. So it's that, you know, really nice, like, sort of layering jacket, perfect for the autumn. Oh, I might have to grab one now. No, nah, that's what I'm oh, thinking. Stopped. That's what I'm <laughs> thinking. And you say that, you say that in the UK, mm. it's still available on the site in selected sizes, but it is still available. And, you know, considering it dropped in like mid-October... And we're, you know, we're coming up to mid-November now anyway, or early mm. November. Um, it's kind of crazy that still, this piece is still available. Yeah, we're really fortunate to have that in the UK, I'd say. I think a lot of people in the US are having a hard time, right? Yeah, I mean, this, it's been pushed back a few times. I mean, let us know if you're in the US. Let us know the details of how far it's been pushed back. But from what I've heard, it keeps getting pushed back and delayed and delayed. And they're not, they're not happy. Nah, definitely. I wouldn't be, I think... Everyone who's a collector would want this in their collection. For sure, for yeah. sure. You know about this graphic, you know about the piece. If you know, you know, that's so... Literally, that's how it is. Yeah. That's how it is. I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna talk about the changes from the retro to the, mm. to the OG, or the other way around, um, I've noticed that on the OG, we'll put up a picture, on the OG, um, there's, a, there's a shadow on the cyclist's leg from, from the bottle. And it looks like they've got rid of it on the graphic for the for the newly retroed one. Bit of a weird one. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it's taken out the perspective of the graphic, hasn't it? Well, yeah, the the angle of the light. I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but but other than that, the the graphic is super similar. Yeah. It's super similar. So they've kept that really, you know, they've kept that really the same. Which is good. I don't think. Yeah. For sure. Don't you don't need to change this one at all, no. really. Exactly. Exactly. There was that um, cycle racer hoodie. Do you remember that one? Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was really hard. Yeah, you're I right. Like I that. completely forgotten about that. Yeah. So and that had the same colorways, the same. That had the graphic on the front, didn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hint at maybe coming. This was coming back. Yeah, no, exactly, yeah. exactly. So they actually, you're right. They've revisited this a couple of times now. Mm. But for the for the original, I guess, like, yeah, just keep it how it was, yeah, which yeah, is great. Yeah. And what they've done is they've added the, the Polo Sport chess logo, haven't they? Mm. And that's embroidered. I think that's a nice touch. Yeah, I definitely. Think it's cool. They had to make some changes. Yeah. I think that's a cool touch. It's not, you know, it's nothing big. It's nothing major. It's low-key. Mm. Mm. I and like it, it. It's got the retro feel of, like, Ralph Lauren, definitely. Like, these For designs, sure. they all come from the 90s and stuff. So, yeah, if you see someone wearing it now, you're going to know that their, their taste is it's matured. And they're definitely, I could see people wearing it at like festivals, the For great sure. colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It'd be interesting to see how people style this one. Because I mean, we're talking primary colours. This is, you know, a bold, bold piece. Exactly. It'd be really interesting to see how, how this gets out there and gets styled. Mm, yeah, we want to chuck up some photos of people styling it, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a shout. Yeah. So send, it, send us in how you're styling this jacket. Mm. Um, and your thoughts. Let us know. Let us know what you think. Mm. 
Topic number two. It's a heated one, so guys, get ready. We all know what you're thinking already. <laughs> uh, we're, we're all um, just still in a bit of a state of shock, really. <laughs> <laughs> well said, well said. Well yeah. Said. Uh, so we're, we're all going through this together, guys, but let's keep it civil. Let's be respectful. <laughs> um, whether you're here for the Fortnite or you're here for the polo, we're all here for the same reason. It's the clothes. Exactly, so exactly. let's get into it. It's the polo Fortnite collab. I mean, jeez. This got dropped without any warning. Mm, you know, I never imagined myself saying it. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally. Yeah. I mean, this one, this one's crazy. Mm. I mean, what can we say? Yeah. I mean, we could start with the facts, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, Fortnite on Instagram, 25.4 million followers. And that's not far off what Ralph's... That's almost doubled what Ralph's got. Mm. We're looking at Ralph's got like 14.2 million followers. Defo, yeah. I mean, that's... It's big when you're looking at it like that. When you're looking at stats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Um, and what's, what's crazy is that Fortnite... Fortnite was established in 2017, mm. which means there's a 50-year gap between when, when Polo was established and, and Fortnite. That's crazy. I mean, it's crazy what they've done, right? Yeah. Two giants in different worlds, but coming together. Exactly. So that's kind of cool when you look at it like that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the sake of gaming and fashion. (laughs) (laughs) I guess with, during lockdown, there was a lot of talk of like the metaverse, like people talking about how we'd have meta wardrobes, that sort of thing. It's true. It's definitely going that way. If you're going to be buying skins for your character in Fortnite, you're going to be owning a piece of polo somehow in the meta. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how collections can, you know, be, mm. be in all these different like forms. And mm. yeah, no, it's true. It's true. I mean, if we're, I mean, they're, they're bringing out a line of clothing, right? The polo and Fortnite bringing out a line of clothing and they've, they've gone with the stadium collection to, to sort of bring back or retro or, you know, work with. Savage. Savage, right? Absolutely I mean, savage. As yeah. if, as if stadium hasn't been played around with enough. Right. They're coming and bringing it around one of the most controversial top, you know, controversial drops of the year, right? Yeah. Facts. Blood. Like, what more can you say? Mm. Um, but if we were to, if we were to analyze, f- so the hoodie, right? The the hoodie's coming out. It's going to retail at 188 US dollars. Mm-hmm. It is dropping in the UK too, which is interesting to know. Um. I mean, if we're comparing the the hoodie to the OG hoodie, I mean, the big change, the massive change is that they replaced the 1992 with 2022. Tax with 2022. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's an obvious change. Yeah, it's 30 years difference. Yeah, it's true. So... I mean, I mean they've kept it... I mean, overall, they've kept it pretty similar, right? Mm. Are we... Um, what are we saying? Cop or drop here? Or... Okay, so... <laughs> We'll ask we'll, 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 we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Discussion. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else have they changed? They've they've added so they've kept it as a hoodie, but they've they've changed the hood color to white as well as the drawstrings, um, which is new. It doesn't add a new color because the the white's already there. Mm. Um, so that's interesting, just to change the note. Um, they did play with this this retro. They retroed the some of the stadium stuff in 2019. Right. Um, and but they brought this hoodie back in more of a it was like a pullover jacket kind of windbreaker mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Same kind of jacket for the Indigo Stadium. Yeah, the Indigo Stadium. It was that sort of a, that sort of material. Yeah, and then they did the Wind Stadium as well. Exactly. Right. Everyone uh, loved that. We were all happy for that. We, yeah, that was that was proper clean. Yeah. I've got so much of that collection at it, home. Do definitely, I mean? yeah, yeah. It's so easy to wear. It's bright, it's bold, it's cool. Mm. So that 29, 2019 retro sort of whole collection was cool. We're a fan, we're a fan. Mm. Um, but yeah, this is the first time that this hoodie itself, I think, has been retroed. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's funny to say, you got some more points there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... It's got pockets, so they've added pockets where the OG hoodie did not have pockets. Yeah. Um, and I think, I mean, if we're looking at the design itself, it's coming from an Olympic stadium running track top, right? It's true. I mean, that's the origins. That's the story. Sportswear. Ralph sure. Lauren sportswear. And now we're here 
in our bedrooms playing Fortnite. Sitting on our asses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's it's quite ironic. It's quite a contradiction. That's true, that's true. But I think with the way that fashion's going, uh, modern day, a lot of things have been quite ironic lately. Like, same time we had the Burberry Mine- Minecraft collab, which, um, yeah, I mean, I... It, that's a bit less offensive, isn't it? It's probably, yeah, it's true. We all it's played true. Minecraft in our time, I think. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, I'll admit to that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've never played Fortnite, so... No, so neither. So that's an interesting... We're getting... I mean, this point of view is from, from never playing Fortnite. Mm. Polo polo lovers, right? Um, I mean, it'd be interesting to see what see what you... You know, you know your thoughts on it, because... I mean, it's a controversial one. Like, mm. there's no, there's no other, you know, other way of going about it. Yeah, but there's collabs all over the shop in the fashion world. Like, there's that's not the most ironic one. We've seen that other brands do ridiculous things. Like, what was it? Balenciaga did a DHL collab. <laughs> like, irony is definitely the taste. It's facts. It's facts. Throughout it's facts. The, the industry right now. So, um. I mean, I mean, what did what did Moschino do the other day? They did not the other day. Few 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 weeks back. Moschino and Budweiser or something. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, there's the Palace Artois. That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. collabing with a beer brand. Everyone loved that. And then they just did the Gucci collab. Everyone's loving that. It's true, it's true. So everyone's I mean, getting hurt some way. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think what's, what's game-changing about this one, though, is that they're, they're playing with Stadium. Mm. This is something that they've done a lot before. I mean, they had that sort of like Japanese retro yeah. not so long ago with the stadium stuff. They retroed it in 2019 too. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, has it been played with too much? They're keeping the design around, that's for sure. It's true. They're, yeah. they're, re- they're reusing and recycling this one. Yeah. Which is great. It's great for the company. It's true. I mean, it's it's gonna create sales, right? Exactly. If you're gonna, you know, at some point these pieces are gonna become collectible. Yeah, would be my guess. Yeah. Um, and also, so not only are you appealing to to the Ralph fans, mm. but you're also appealing to this huge fan base. You know, of Fortnite, which is is clearly huge. It's massive. Yeah. I mean, you know, how big is this door that it's unlocked? What's you know, how big is it? So true. I remember when Fortnite had a Travis Scott show on there. Okay. Do you remember that? Nah. He did. I, I'm pretty sure he did like a virtual performance on Fortnite. Is it? So everyone crowded towards their consoles and watched it, and that was crazy. Okay. Because okay. that was live music, but in Fortnite. Right. So um, yeah, I think like if we're talking about demographics and who it's appealing to, it's massive. It's, it's huge, and and it's it's the younger audience, right? Mm. I mean, if if you're trying to stay, you know, a brand that's trying to stay relevant, mm. you know, if you're, you know, it, it appeals to, you know, it's a whole new demographic that it's, it's coming to, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and to, like, gain gain traction with that younger audience is probably what he's done, or at least got, got them talking about it. Right, right. Yeah, the skins themselves, they look they look pretty fresh. They're kind of cool. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm not a gamer. I don't really know what's going on, but... Yeah, we might know, have from, to try it out, though. We should probably do that. Try give, it like, out a proper... the channel. We'll give you a little, <laughs> little yeah, yeah, insight how it plays. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's a funny time for fashion right now. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah it's new times, you know. It's new, and it's new for everyone. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's cool, though. Mm. I mean, le- let's be fair. We're... We're never gonna like everything that gets produced. That's a great point. You know, there there are pieces that you know are pure polo, and that you know I'm not a fan. A lot mm. of people won't be a fan. You know, everyone's got a different taste. Mm-hmm. Um, so everything you know, everything that gets produced won't appeal to everyone. It's hard saying that. I think being a polo enthusiast, there's not a lot we don't like. Okay, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> there isn't, which is why we're all so shocked. Okay, okay. I was trying to like yeah. keep it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, take it or leave it. Love it. Rarely hate it. It's it's facts. Rarely it's facts. hate it. I've... I mean, there are pieces that I love that I wouldn't wear. Mm-hmm. You know, like, and but just because I won't wear it doesn't mean I don't like it. Mm-hmm. So uh, you're right. You're right. Mm. But this one in particular is definitely it's worth worth the topic of conversation. For sure, so. for sure, and it's got people talking. At, at the very mm. least, this you know it's put put Ralph in the headlines, right? Right. Like it's you know it's a it's a big thing. You know any press is good press. That's what they've always said. Mm. So um. So true. So true. Okay. Okay. Cop or drop. <laughs> you know what? 
I think like discussing fashion itself um, and the irony of it, I think like, I think for me in particular, I would wear it, but I don't know if I'd cop it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Right now, I don't think I need it in my collection. Am I against it? No. I'm with that. I'm not against wearing it. I'm with that. Yeah. And I do want to see celebrities wearing it. I want to see... You say that Polo G exactly. He was he was he was out there promoting it, wasn't he? Right. I mean, clearly like a paid partnership or something. But mm. he was he was out there and he was playing it. Um, and he was repping the full tracksuit. Sick. Yeah. So um, so it's, you know, it's been there. It's been worn. I'm happy to see that. Uh huh. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I mean, it's completely staying relevant. It's getting. I mean, there you're getting like artist fans you're mm. getting the the polo fans and you're getting the Fortnite fans i mean that's three huge you know mm. groups of people that you know they're at least getting exposed to this kind of stuff right right yeah well what, what do you think bro how yeah i mean i'm, I'm dropping it dropping i'm not it. wearing yeah. it but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um but no, nah, again, I'm not against it. It's um, it's modern. It's it mixes it up, and it's mm. it's got people talking, which I think is a good thing. Mm. Yeah, I, so, I think yeah. if we're talking wardrobe wise, I don't need another hoodie. I know what you're saying. So I'm not running to it, and I know it will just end up back in my door. Chuck it on for a joke. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. I, when I put polo on, I want to wear it for fancy meal. For sure. Snow beach birthday shirt, my polo Fortnite hoodie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I I don't know if I'd even be seen socially in that. Yeah, that's, that's that right. might stay indoors. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, but it's a crazy industry as well. You know, kids becoming super rich. It's true. Championships, like world games, playing playing this game, and I think it's um yeah. Whoever's doing the marketing at Polo, like it's cool. Hats off to them. Mm. That's cool. It's cool, and it's it's probably a risk. Mm. Um, but now nah, I'm with it. Mm. Move with the times, you know what I mean? Yeah, we want to know what you guys think. Yeah, I mean, let us know. Yeah, shout us out. Um, drop it in the comments. I think it's worth discussing because at least we can all understand it better. For sure, for sure. Yeah, if you've got an opinion or a view that we haven't mentioned, please let us know. We we want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and if you've got it, send the fit pics through. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Let me let us know. Start it. Let us know the quality as well. Mm. Um, cause this stuff, you know, it's it's not cheap. Mm. Um, so yeah, no, let us know what you think. One hundred. Nice. Cool. Cool. Okay. Topic number three. November. We made it. Tis the season. It's almost the end of the year, and before you know it, it is New Year. So we're gonna finish it in style. Am I right? For sure. For sure. Um. So yeah, November. We're gonna we're gonna head off to London next weekend. Mm. Um. Meet a load of the London lot. See what's going on. Yeah. Um, rocking the bears. Definitely. That'd be yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be good to do a social thing, you know, bring the scene together. It's all about the meetups. For sure. It's all about the photos. That's what we love to see, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All around the world, all around the country. So mm -hmm. if you're doing it in your local area, keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and we're gonna keep doing it as well. So send the invites through. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, we wanna know how do you wear your bear? Because next week we're going to be in Bears for our episode. We're going to do, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do some fit checks. See yeah. what we're wearing, see what everyone else is wearing. There should be a good mix of like new new Bears, mm. some of the newer stuff, and then some of the, the you know, the OG, OG Bears. Totally. Which should be cool. It's kind of like a clash of like eras, but you know, mm. we're all there for the same reason, right? Facts. So Facts. it should be cool. It should be cool. Yeah. So yeah, we'll take you along with that one. Mm. We'll, we'll vlog the whole, the whole thing. That's going to be wicked. Yeah. Want to say thank you to you guys for tuning in. For sure. Checking out checking out the podcast. This is episode one. Uh, covered a lot here. And uh, yeah, we want to know what you think about that. Yeah, any any feedback, let us know. Any questions, let us know. Um, and yeah, stay safe. All right. Polo Podcast. Mm -hmm.